Good evening, Keller ISD. I wanted to touch base with you uh, the night before, the day before, our first day of our two-week closure. Um, my name is Rick Westfall. I'm the superintendent of schools here in Keller ISD. And I felt like it was an appropriate time to just reach out, not only to our community, but to our staff and our students, uh, and just talk you through what we're doing and what's going on and what you can expect to see from us. Um, I've got my notes uh, here to my right, and so when I look away, that's really all I'm looking at is just to make sure I hit everything I want to hit. Uh, and I'm recording from uh, my new remote office. Um, as part of this closure, not only are our schools closed down, but um, our district offices are closed down. And we want to participate and, and respect and model in what Tarrant County has asked us to do, which is to uh, reduce any kind of social interaction as much as possible. So we are telecommuting as much as we can through video conferencing. We've been doing a lot of Zoom meetings um, with our groups already for, for really the last uh, two or three days. Um, and that will continue to happen. So uh, specifically for our district offices, you might see a few cars up there every now and then as a result of just business. Uh, we'll have a skeletal crew up there that still needs to take care of the business at hand, which is uh, things like payroll and things like uh, purchasing that still are going to be required for our school district because business will still continue. Uh, at some point, we are still going to open, and uh, we can't just um, wait around for that to happen. So we, we need to make sure business is occurring, but you're not going to see uh, the number of cars up at the admin building like you normally do uh, because the building will be closed down. Um, but to the point of, of this video, um, I know we're all kind of experiencing that moment of, um, of stress and not, not sure or, or uncertain about what's really going to happen with schools, uh, not only here, but uh, just community-wide and, and uh, statewide. And, and what I can assure you is that um, we are making these decisions best on, based on uh, the information we're getting from the county, the information we're getting from, from Tarrant County Health, from Judge Whitley's office. Um, and, and they are providing us with uh, detailed information about how to best make our decisions. You know, this all, as you know, this all came down Friday. Uh, we had our meeting Friday morning, and that's where we received the recommendation to shut down schools. And that's when you saw uh, it's about every Tarrant County school um, follow through with that recommendation. So that's the reason why the majority of us, if not all of us in Tarrant County, are shut down for two weeks. Um, through that time, uh, we are being given guidance by TEA. So um, part of what we're really trying to accomplish and what, what we've been doing here um, in, in Keller ISD is to stay in close contact with TEA. I personally uh, am on a daily call with a commissioner, not personally like just me and Commissioner Marath, but um, on a webinar with a thousand other people uh, across the state of Texas listening to updated guidance from the Texas Education Agency. Um, we are learning every single day. We're, we're trying to adjust and make the appropriate um, accommodations every single day based on what we're being told. Um, and one of those things we're being told is that as we're closed, we need to figure out how to create that instructional support model for our kids. Um, so to that point, this is the first week coming up. And this first week, what you can expect uh, from Keller ISD is for us to be getting ready. Uh, and, and we already had lots of things that we were starting to move to more of a digital mindset anyway. Um, just for the purpose of some of our, especially our secondary kids, being able to be online, uh, not necessarily in the classroom all the time. So there were some curricular pieces already already occurring, but certainly a full tw K-12 uh, digital environment was not part of our anticipation. So our CNI team and, and our staff are working diligently on what does that even look like and, and, and how do we provide instructional support K-12, uh, or actually now that we're opening up more pre-K-12. Uh, uh, but but we are working on that, and that's what you can expect this week. This week is going to be about um, uh, uh, us developing a game plan so that the following week uh, we'll be able to start providing some of that instructional support to our kiddos at home uh, and, and to our parents as they help support the educational process for their kids. Um, we know not everybody can be online. We know that uh, we've got some people that maybe might be without devices or maybe without connectivity, um, and so we're making some accommodations for that as well. Uh, but all in all, that's what this week coming up is all about, is planning uh, to be able to best support our, our Keller ISD community. Um, as I look down through my list, I also want to make sure we are touching on um, making sure our, our schools and our facilities are clean. Um, we do have a, 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 an environmental team response plan uh, to make sure things are virus-free. And if you want to see any of this that I'm talking about, so we've got all of this on our, on our website uh, KellerISD.net backslash coronavirus. 
Um, and that's where we're uh, putting everything, you know, as we do develop an FAQ site, as we uh, create opportunities for um, just information, that's where you'll be able to find it is on our, on our website. Um, we have already been um, in communication, obviously, with our staff, but starting tomorrow, um, I will uh, create a webinar for our staff and just really just share information. Um, I just want people to be in the loop and as much as possible and, as, and, and be aware as much as, as we know and I know that everybody um, can also be part of this decision making because, um, frankly, this is a, a, a community effort on how do, we, how do we best get through this. Uh, time, not only just school-wise, but um, community-wise. You know, across the, across uh, our community, we're going to be making some pretty tough decisions um, as it relates to kids being home. And and I do know, I mean, I know, I know parents are going to have to go to work. Um, and, and there are going to be some of those things we're going to have to help figure out and help help our parents figure out. Um, uh, to that particular point, I know we've got a lot of families who um, rely on the schools for food, and, and that's where, where kids get a chance to eat. So, um, if you haven't seen it yet on our website or on, on Facebook, you will see uh, the schedule of food services where you can go pick up some food. Um, and that's going to be still offered by Sodexo. They've, they've been great coming through and planning for, for our kids that are going to still need that uh, nutritional service as we go through this closure. Um, let, me, let me tell you that, that every day, um, really every hour, <laughs> has come up with potentially a new challenge for us to figure out. Um, but we have amazing staff, uh, and and the conversations we've been having in terms of being able to solve some of these issues uh, have been, frankly, impressive. Not only just the people who are employees of Keller ISD, but even outside of Keller ISD, uh, just our community of, of how they want to support and help. Um, I, I know, again, I will say that this is a stressful time, and and I fully understand that. And as much as we will, we can, we will stay connected with you. And we will continue to keep you updated on, on what's going on. And we're going to make sure we have a game plan on how quickly we can get our teachers to connect to our kids if they haven't already. Uh, I know some of our teachers, I'm certain, are probably already ahead of that curve. Um, but but that's our, our plan. Our plan is to stay connected, even though it might feel a little weird through um, a distance learning process. But we're going to keep that process going. Specific details about questions you might have, whether it be testing, whether it be... Uh, and structural support you're going to be able to find on our website as we know that information. Um, and just so I can tell you this, if it's not on our website or it's not an answer to a question, it's because we don't have the information yet. And I just and I hope that you will continue to give us a, some grace on that and, and, and some patience as we work through this completely unprecedented moment uh, in Keller ISD and across the state and across this nation. But anyway, that's all. I just wanted to, to touch base with you, let you know that we were still here, uh, let you know that we're working really hard to try to make sure we provide a, a great instructional opportunity for our kids as best we can. Uh, but God bless and take care, and we will be in touch. Have a great night.